hello guys welcome to a new video and in this video we are going to configure a clientless SSL VPN connection um, between this router over here and this ISA or to say better uh, from this browser we are going to access this website which is behind this ASA and for that we need to connect into this ASA um, browser so it allows us to get into this website so with that being said let's go ahead and start configuring I have not configured any IP addresses so I'm going to do this a little bit fast um, fast faster than before so this one is the management this one is zero one zero 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 one over here so let's go ahead and add IP addresses first one and two one six eight that one that two this one's going to be for the browser. This one's going to be the router. Over here, we're going to do 20.1.1.2 and 20.1.1.1 for the ASA, the management. Over here, it's going to have 1.1.1.1 and 1.1.1.2 for the ASTM. The inside website is going to have uh, 172.16.1.2 and the 1.1 for this firewall. Let's go ahead and move it down here so we have more space. Make this over here. Ta -da, ta -da. Okay, so that is good. Let's go ahead and go into this router first. And this router, let's do a config G. Let's give it a host name of R1. Interface key give it a slash one. IP address 192.168.1.1. Now shut down. Then we go to gigabit 00. IP address 20.1.1.2. Now shut down. We can go ahead and save it. Good. Actually, let's also do a config T. Let's do an IP route to a default route, and this one is going to go to the ASA. So 20.1.1.1. Let's go ahead and save it. Now let's go ahead and open the ASA. Enable. No password. Config T. Say no. Give it a host name ASA interface management 0 slash 0, which is going to be where the ASDM is going to be connected, an IP address of 1.1.1.1 slash 24. Let's give it a name if manage management now shut down interface give it 0 slash 1 IP address um, 20.1.1.1. I should be able now to ping 20.1.1.2. Ah. Um, let's see, did I do, let's do a, I didn't do no shutdown, did I? No, I did not. Okay. So let's go ahead and go to router one. From router one, I should be able to ping the ASA, which is 20.1.1.1. I should be able to, but I am not. Let's go ahead and go to the ASA. Zero one. So I be interface brief. Zero, zero one, zero zero. They're both up. Show interface IP brief over here. Zero one is up, which is this one. Run router one should be zero zero. Yep, zero one. They're both up. Thing twenty that one the one that one. Run 
for now we'll pin the ASA let's do config t let's do a route oh I know why config let's do a config t interface gigabyte server slash one name if outside that's why And that's why I was unable to ping. Config D. Now we are going to do interface gigabit zero slash zero. IP address 172.16.101. Oh, uh, let's give it a name if inside. That's going to be the inside. No shut down. But you can get rid of DMZ, whatever you want to do, but I want to do that. Then we are going to do a HTTP server enable HTTP management well, actually I want any IP address to connect to it we have the management interface management access management and save it so now let's go ahead and go into this website, which is right here. Let's give it an if config interface 0, 172.16.1.2. I forgot to put netmask route at default gateway 172.16.1.1. Now we should be able to ping 172.16.1.1. Good. So we have connectivity between the website and the ASA. Now let's go ahead and open this browser. And let's give it this IP address. It's going to be basically the same because it is using a Linux. I have config interface 0.192.168.1.2 netmask slash 24. Route at default gateway okay, 192.168.1.1 ping 192.168.1.1 and let's go ahead and good so we have connectivity over here between the browser and this R1 um, also we should be able to open the terminal see if we're able to ping uh, 20.1.1.2 good are we able to ping that one 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 no, because the ASA doesn't know how to get back to us. So let's go into the ASA. Let's add a route outside. And there we go. Now we are able to ping. So we are able to get to the ASA. So that's good. After that is done, let's go ahead and open the ASDM and let's configure the IP address of the ASDM and then we are going to connect to the ASA. I, uh, I have config interface 0 1.1.1.2 net mask 255.255.255.0 route at default gateway okay, 1.1.1.1 now should we be able to ping one the one the one the one good so we're able to ping now let's go ahead and connect via the ASEM one the one the one the one always trust uh, we did not configure a <coughs> username so we don't need to enter the username because we didn't configure anything so you can just log in without username and password because I did not configure one right so we go, we are in the ASEM. So now we are going to configure um, clientless as a cell VPN. Uh, we are going to configuration and you you will be you configure a clientless as a cell VPN whenever the end user does not have admin access, but it has access to a browser and to the internet. Okay, so remote access VPN. So we are going to go into clientless. We are going to first do a connection profile. We are going to allow to the outside, apply it, save it. Let's go ahead and create a new one, new 
connection profile. If I want to say this client client list profile. Um, <clears throat> authentication is going to be local. We are going to manage it and we need to um, that's why we're going to leave it like this. Um, so the client list profile or the profile whenever you create a group profile that's for the pre-login policy so before you log in those are the policies that are applied the group policy is the post login policy so after you log in what are you going to have access to so for this one we're going to call it client less group if i know how to spell group there we go uh, the banner that we want to put we can put welcome to client less SSL VPN. So whenever you log in, you're going to get this banner. Uh, and all we want to do is enable client SSL VPN. Uh, we can go into the portal. We are going to add a bookmark, and that bookmark is going to give us access into the website. So we're going to call our book. Let's go ahead and add it. URL would get our post method. Uh, we're going to call it website. 172.16.172.16.1.2. Assign it. Let's go to general. Everything is good over here. Press OK. OK. So we have the clientless group policy that the clientless profile is going to add or is going to receive. Let's go ahead and I'm sure about that. Let's enable it, apply it, save it. Now we need to configure a local user. And in the local user, it's going to be called, um, let's call it annual Cisco, Cisco. No ASDM, as it says, telnet or console access. I just want access to the, um, to the client list as VPN. Now we need to go into group policies and that group policy, we need to assign a user to it. And the user that we created was a annual. Apply it, save it. Now we should be able to connect um, to the client list as VPN. The way you do that, we are going to use the browser. So let's go ahead and open that browser up. And we are going to go to HTTPS. Whack whack, 20 that one, that one, that one, which is the IP address of that ASA. Here we go, it is saying the connection is not secure uh, because it is, is it the ASA is using a self signed certificate and it, does, it doesn't trust it. So we're just going to add that exception. And there we go, we are going to log into it using NWAL, password with Cisco. And there you go, welcome to Conless SLVPN. VPN. But we're not done yet. Remember, we added the bookmark. Let's see if we are able to get into that um, this website right here. So let's go to bring it up. Click on it, and there we go. And look what it says: "Congrats on a hundred, on a thousand subscribers. Thank you all." And this is um, I recently reach a thousand subscribers on my youtube channel so thank you all for watching thank you all for subscribing um, and if you like this video go ahead and click the like button okay so there you go i was able to get to the website that says congrats on a thousand subscribers thank you all and thank you all uh, and that's how you configure a client SSO vpn connection i did it from scratch i did not configure i did not have anything pre-configured i configured everything during this video and if you guys have any questions you can just go ahead and leave a questions on the um on this video the comment below and also if you have a twitter account you should go ahead and follow me on twitter at ccna daily tips if you don't have a twitter account go ahead and create a twitter account and then follow me on twitter and also um while you add it i am going to give away a udemy course for free all you have to do is retweet this um post and you will be enter and it will, it will be randomly selected and you will receive a free udemy course um and this is due to my youtube channel hidden 1k 
and after I hit 2k I'm also going to be doing the same so thank you guys for watching this video um, I really appreciate you watching this video subscribing to my channel um, liking this video I will see you on the next video guys uh, I love you all bye bye